Hey there, Team V. We are back with another read aloud, and this time it is the grouchy ladybug. Oh man, what makes you so grouchy? Well, let's find out in this read aloud of the grouchy ladybug by Eric Carl. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. And here we can see the time. Do you remember what time it said? Can you read what time it said? Yeah, six o'clock. Seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Now, it's seven o'clock. The long hand is pointing straight up to the 12. That's how we know it is exactly on the hour. And the short hand is pointing to the seven. Hmm. What do you think is going to happen next? Those are some good predictions. Let's take a look. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Let's take a look at that time. There it is, eight o'clock. Do you think that the ladybug really thinks that all of these bugs are not big enough to fight? Why do you think that the grouchy ladybug keeps saying that? Hmm, yeah, let's see. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Where are the arms of the clock going to be pointing this time if it's nine o'clock? Yeah, let's zoom in on this. The short hand is pointing to the nine and the long hand is pointing straight up. At 10 o'clock, it saw a bob Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not. <laughs> yeah, 
big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. And there you can see 10 o'clock. What time is it next after 10 o'clock? What's the next one? Yeah, that one's 11 o'clock. Who do you think that this ladybug is going to meet at 11 o'clock? Take a guess. Did anyone say skunk? <laughs> at 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Now you can read the next part. Great reading. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh! You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Let's take a look at how we show 12 o'clock. You see right there in the yellow side that squirrel. I really love 12 o'clock because it's like you're trying to hide the hands. Both hands point straight up at the 12. At 12 noon, that means the middle of the day, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Everyone say the next line. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, everyone together. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Everyone, hey you said the grouchy ladybug. Everyone again. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Everyone say the next line. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. And here, is how you show one o'clock. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. And here is two o'clock. What have you noticed about all the things that, that the grouchy ladybug is coming across? What have you noticed? If we start back at the beginning, we see a small yellow jacket, a beetle, a praying mantis, a bird, a lobster, a skunk, a boa constrictor now, a hyena, and a gorilla. What has been happening as we've been going along? Yeah, they've been getting bigger and bigger. So since you know that the animals or the things have been getting bigger and bigger, what do you think is coming up next? Let's see. Wow! At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. And here is how we write three o'clock with the short hand at the three and the long hand straight up. 
I did hear someone guess elephant before, so you're right. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. What a fight. If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. And here is four o'clock. Now we're getting toward the end of the clocks here. In the end of this story, what do you think will happen at the very end? Make a prediction based on all the knowledge of what has happened. Hmm, let's see. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey you, want a fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Let's take a look at 5.15 on the clock. Here it is. So that short hand is pointing to the five. Now the long hand has moved to the three. So with the minutes, each number represents five minutes. So if I move from the 12 to the one, it's 505. From the 12 to the two, it's 510. And now that from the 12 to the three is 515. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you want to fight, but it got no answer, so it flew on. And now you can see that at 5.30, the minute hand has moved straight down to the six. That's halfway. There's only 60 minutes in an hour. And because it's halfway, the shorthand has moved in between the five and the six. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap. Before we move on, let's look at 545. There it is. We've moved over here. We're almost at the six and it's a quarter to six, right? So each group of 15 minutes is a quarter on the clock. Slap! That it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, uh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. And the nice one says, you're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybugs. And they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon.
Thank you so much for joining me in this read aloud of The Grouchy Ladybug. And I sure am glad that that grouchy ladybug changed its tune at the end of the story. Let's do our handshake. Up, down, wiggle, wiggle, pop. Love you guys. Bye friends.